what was the connection with the Bengals? Like you're like a Bengals super fan and Bengals Twitter has loved you and still does. I love Bengals. <laughs> I love it. It's not just the Twitter. It's the real yeah. fans. I was just hanging out with them outside here at practice. Well, it's just a great organization that I caught on the upswing. Yeah. And I don't know how all of the national media just, you know, it's very hard, slow moving. Yeah. And so it's always Steelers and Ravens and like Bengals are just bad. Well, no, no, no. Wait, let's see what we really have here. Yeah. We have Joe Burrow. He's coming off an injury. He looks good. He's got Jamar Chase. Like they have a pretty good defense. Like they could, don't tell me that they can't make it to the playoffs. That was the whole thing. Don't tell me they can't make it to the playoffs. And once I said that, Bengals fans were literally, (laughs) somebody's talking about us. At yeah, the exactly. Morning football yeah. table because they were just aren't talked about, and I always go for the underdog. Mm-hmm. If you if you were if you were a Good Morning Football fan, I was Saints. It's Chargers. Now I like the Seattle Seahawks. I I yeah. like the teams that I just have a feeling are on the up, and the Bengals just were so impressive mm-hmm. and did their thing. And now we're just waiting. I mean, hopefully during this interview, Joe Burrow's going to get his big paycheck. Yeah, that'd be nice. We could, I we're not going to break it on here because it's on table. You can break it on your show yeah. after this. Um, <laughs> Favorite moment of of your career, being able to like just be in the moment and and be able to talk to these players or big games, anything stick out to you? I, I mean, the, the bank, this team lost the Super Bowl, but that what a game, oh what a time gosh, at SoFi! Yeah. I got to be on the on the field in these Cabana suites. I don't know how I got this. That I saw happened. Bieber in one. Were you with Justin? Bieber? I was right next to him. I was with like That's Issa insane. Ray and is that so when you like pinch yourself and you're like, what is yeah, going I was on? Just like what's <laughs> no, but I was more excited about like the mascot for the Bengals running around. I was so excited <laughs> and so heartbroken at the same time, and the wrong color confetti fell. But it'll be that much sweeter, oh, God, you know, going ahead, hopefully. Cincinnati hasn't won a championship in 30 years, so Okay, please. well, I was born in Chicago, so. Okay. Okay. All right, sorry. Well. 85 uh, <laughs> was a long time before you were in high school and before I was even born. My old, old lady bones over here. <laughs> All right. This year's Bengals team, though, you mentioned Joe, Burry when, Joe Burrow when you became a fan of the Bengals, I guess you could say, yeah. or started rooting for them. He was coming off the injury then from his rookie year, coming off an injury now, but they have all these pieces. The defense still re- revamping each and every year. Um, predictions for this year? Or maybe you're not a predictions person, but vibe of this team. Vibe of this team is all business. Vibe of this team isn't what I'm seeing from other teams like Buffalo Bills who also have their hearts broken year in, year out. That seems a little more like they're trying not to think about it. But this Bengals team talking to Jamar Chase, we're confident. We feel good. Get your rest, Joe Burrow. Show up in week three or four or five. We got you. There's a really beautiful mentality here. uh, And I think they're just as good as every team in the AFC. And I love that they're not being talked about. Disclaimer. (laughs) Zip it, Bengals. I don't want to hear Burrowhead. I don't want to hear the chirpiness. The tr- just be quiet. Be un- underassumed, undersell, and overdeliver. And smoke the cigars here in the AFC Championship after, game when they, when after, they host. When they host. After.